What's good YouTube? It's your girl Miss Golden 83 and I am here to do a dream catcher read for the sign of Virgo, okay? Virgo, you guys are third this week on the Zodiac lineup. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Remember you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So take what resonates and pass the rest to the next, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. You guys know how this goes, all right? We do one from the top for your energy, one from the bottom for the energy of the situation and or person and then one energetically from the middle okay i think i'm gonna go here with it which is the energy if i can get to it the energy between you and the situation and or person okay this is pretty much tapping into your subconscious and what you might be kind of dreaming about or you know kind of, you know, in your thoughts about, okay? So let's go ahead and see what's in your spread, Virgos. So we have Knight of Coins for your energy, okay? Earth energy. Then we have the Four of Wands, okay? Um, which is Aries energy, fire energy, okay? For the situation and or person. And then we have the Four of Coins coins, which is more earth energy Capricorn to be exact. Okay. So you guys are kind of mirroring one of the signs, I believe from last week. I just don't remember which one it is. Might be Libra, um, possibly that kind of had these first two cards. Okay. So this four of coins is the energy between you and the situation and a person. All right. So with this Knight of Coins, we have uh, Aries and Taurus and Pisces in, in the lurks a little bit, um, same as Libra's reading, I believe, last week. Um, so you could be dealing with a Libra or you could have that in your chart. It's just an honorable mention, okay? Um, but this Knight of Coins, as you can see, is kind of charging forward. Um, and usually Knight of Coins is a little bit more of mature energy in regards to maybe relaying something of worth, okay? So it could be you in this sense, okay, kind of marching forward um, in some maturity, maybe learning some new things about yourself or about what it is that you want out of life. Um, or from a, a particular person because the person and or situation is a four of wands type of situation, fire energy, um, possibly passionate about, you know, bringing more maturity to a relationship or searching for that in a relationship. Okay. And so this four of wands always speaks to me because of the door in the middle, um, which is usually talking about starting a foundation most people like to say marriage um you know it just all depends on the feeling of the cards for now this is your dream catcher read so it's not so much i'm not feeling a marriage vibe i feel more so about stability um in a relationship this uh aries energy is uh feminine okay um so you could be a masculine you know dealing with a feminine or vice versa get in where you fit in okay but this is the the energy of said person and or situation so possibly like i said trying to bring some maturity into the mix okay you do have the energy between the two of you equaling out to a four of pentacles okay capricorn energy talking about kind of holding or withholding some information back okay um and so as you can see this person has like a little you know, chest or a box with four pentacles in it, okay? Um, something you're protecting as far as maybe something, it could be something of value that you're protecting, okay? Um, or not willing to share with someone, okay? Or vice versa, um, just depends on the situation, okay? It could be maybe the, I don't want to say splitting of 
of possessions possibly um, that could be the situation um, if you take both of these five of pentacles you know it, it comes to comes to mind if you take the knight of coins and the four of coins um, and put them together you get five five is talking about five of pentacles five talking about change five of pentacles talking about leaving someone out in the cold okay and that's the reason why i get to this kind of feeling of a uh, separation of of possessions okay in regards to this uh this relationship okay that could be the case for some of you again it's not for everybody take what resonates and pass the rest okay so um but nonetheless it could be um kind of a situation like that okay um you could have taurus in your chart um virgos um in regards to kind of like possessiveness over your things um just being protective or um trying to secure something okay is what i'm feeling we're going to go ahead and shuffle these mindful messages to see what it is that your main focus is i usually shuffle when i feel like there's a shift in the energy and it does feel like that so i'm going to go ahead and give these a shuffle and then we'll cut by threes so we can see what the main focus is but it, it does feel like, and then I'm kind of getting this vibe of someone has more than someone else. Um, maybe if it is talking in the, in the sense of possessions, okay? And maybe someone is holding back something um, from someone else, okay? So we're going to do one from the top, excuse me, and then one from the bottom. You can take both of these for yourself or one for yourself and one towards the situation and or person okay so we have together okay together which has a little bit of crown chakra and some sacral okay um i love working together with others and how it makes once impossible dreams possible I see there is strength and unity in how much we can accomplish together. Asking for help is not weak. It is powerful. Okay. So with that coming out, I feel as though it could be for some of you that you have a tendency of wanting to do things by yourself. Okay. But someone could possibly be trying to show you that they have the ability to provide more to you or wanting to be helpful to you if you let them in okay um and so you may be a very independent person virgo but you do sometimes require the assistance of others whether you want to admit to it or not okay thus this four of coins coming out and so as you know the readings go on um we kind of dig a little bit deeper into what um could be the reasoning from this main spread okay and so like i said you could be withholding back the want to ask for help um in this relationship because you're so used to being independent okay now let's move forward to conscious focus okay conscious focus okay where we have a little bit of root chakra and third eye, okay? What I focus on, I attract more of. Starting with today, I will be more conscious on what I choose to spend time speaking or thinking of. I will do more of the things that bring me joy and see as more of these things begin to effortlessly flow into my life, okay? Conscious focus okay being very selective on what you spend time thinking of and speaking of okay so you want to speak you know some value and some worth into your relationships okay 
um, Virgos, definitely allow it to kind of flow in your life what it is and being aware of what it is that you truly want, okay? Um, because with the root chakra showing up here, it means being a little bit more passionate about what it is you want to acquire, thus this four of wands, okay? So if it's a relationship you are seeking, you have to start consciously um, being able to step out of that comfort zone of independence and really consider yourself being in a relationship with someone and not holding back so much. Now, if you've been in a relationship where you've given a lot financially, then yes, you want to kind of hold back, okay? But there's other ways that you can, you know, share value and worth with someone when you're in a relationship, which is, uh, you know, feelings, um, positive affirmations, things of that nature, experiences where you actually do them together, you know, um, that's just to, to talk about it, you know, lightly. Okay. So let's get into your geometry oracles. Okay. Where we'll take one from the top and one from the bottom. This is the possible outcome of the energy. You can take both of these for yourself or one for yourself, one towards a situation and or person. Um, and you can utilize these cards for meditation as far as um, taking a quick screenshot um, of the card itself and kind of just use it to kind of visualize and write out your thoughts on how they make you feel, okay? So we have coherence number 13, equaling out to four, okay? Four talks about, you know, protection in the sense of progressing forward um, with a primary focus of, you know, positive results, okay? And so coherence, okay? It says the frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind for an optimum ability to create the reality that we desire okay the frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart and the frequency of the mind for an optimum ability to create the reality that we desire okay coherence when i hear coherence it automatically kind of confirms this conscious focus okay and the fact that you know right here with the four of wands is that in order for you to be able to get that relationship that you desire or that stability okay if it's not a relationship and it's just stability that you want okay then you're going to have to start really focusing on what stability is for you and it has to be coherent okay and so you can't you know kind of contradict yourself in communications with someone or even with yourself in regards to what it is that you desire, okay? So it has to be coherent. Everything has to be cohesive in the sense of being able to get to that optimum reality, okay? So let's move on, Virgos, to the second message of number 38, remembrance, okay? Remembrance, okay? I would probably suggest to you guys in, in regards to like coherence and having some conscious focus, I would probably suggest my sanctuary um, meditation oil for you, okay, um, in regards to what it is that you want to kind of focus on, okay, um, along with probably one of the bath salts that I have which would probably be between like Awakening by the Beach and Ignite My Passion. I would probably lean more towards the Awakening by the Beach um, just because of the fact that it could possibly awaken you to those thoughts and desires that, that you're thinking of and kind of help kind of push you in the right direction um, as far as you know, your crown chakra and your third eye, okay? The Ignite My Passion is more so a heart's desire um, type vibe as far as finding what your passion, your true passions are, 
Um, but awakening by the beach just kind of awakens those things that you already have in your subconscious. Okay. And so, uh, those two, I would probably pair together and look for in the shop. Okay. Um, my Etsy shop link is on my about me page. Let's go ahead and get into remembrance. The frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul and body providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life, okay? The frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul in body, providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life, okay? Now, I do have an oil that is called Remembrance. However, I think that would be too strong for you paired with that awakening by the beach, okay? Um, that's the reason why I choose sanctuary for you guys instead, okay? Um, to protect that mindset that you're already in because if you weren't exhibiting the, the possibility of having some type of conscious focus, then I would suggest remembrance uh, to you, okay? And it's already here, you know, kind of just as a reminder to you to just remember the things that you've been through in the past, okay? And so that would lead you to getting to that desired point in your life for stability, okay? And possibly in order, if it's like financial stability, then you're going to have to start learning how to, you know, kind of hone back on those finances. If there's something in the way, um, in the sense of maybe you might have some impulse buying that you're doing, then I would also suggest to get to the money spray that I have in my shop as well. Now, get to the money can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. Now, for you in regards to trying to save money towards a conscious goal that you have, Virgos, you can spray that at least five times around you to promote change, okay? Um, remember the numerology um, that we do here on the channel um, occasionally. If you spray it four times around yourself or around in your home, in four corners of your home, then you are protecting said finances and assets that you have around you. And in order to protect that, you start making conscious decisions of what needs to be removed, such as multiple subscriptions that you're not really using or um, cutting back on eating out, um, using coupons, if you will, to go grocery shopping, things of that nature, buying things in bulk instead of constantly going to the store, replenishing um, the same thing over and over again. So in, in making those tiny minute changes, you can find yourself saving more money than spending. Okay. And that is still a way of getting to the money. Okay. If you have a business or you're trying to start a business and you need to start honing in on what it is that you want to do for that business to get to the money spray can actually help you by spraying it three times in a sense of bringing those thoughts to you of really being able to learn how to market what it is that you're offering as far as your services and thinking of those fine minute details um, that would bring you more money, maybe giving deals to people, things like that. Okay. Um, those are in motivating you. It's a very motivating scent as far as getting you to that money and getting you motivated and consciously thinking about where you can save. Okay. So with that being said, please feel free to check that out. So as far as remembrance, like I said, it's just pretty much a substantial reminder that I feel is just here in, in regards to remembering where you've come from, your experiences, and using that to make mature decisions about your finances, okay? So it's a multitude of different Virgo energies within your reading. So take those little tidbits um, that resonate with you and leave the rest for everyone else, okay? So with that being said, Virgos, that's all that I have for you guys today. We do have two more readings, so until then, peace.